Disclaimer, be advised that I'm not a professional trader or advisor. I am sharing my trading journey for entertainment purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, price or other information contained in this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage including, without limitation to, any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Trading foreign exchange, cryptocurrency indexes, stock market, futures, commodity, energy, precious metal, etc. carry a high level of risk and please trade on your own research and assessment. Please seek advice from a professional financial advisor for your trading needs. Hello traders, happy weekend everybody. So today we are back on another session, Forex weekly forecast. So I have posted quite a few videos last week. Uh. So you guys make sure also check out my previous video about uh, USD JPY and uh, NZD USD. <coughs> okay, make sure you guys get up to date. With my posting on my with my video, okay. So this week, let's look at the calendar first. Uh. Let's see what happened to the calendar. Let's see last week. <coughs> okay, miss this week. Uh, these are trading week end of the trading week. Okay, China CPI is good. <coughs> Good for you, uh, you good for Aussie and uh, New Zealand, okay. New Zealand dollar, cat, okay. CPI drop, okay. Bad news for uh, cat <coughs> monitoring policy remain the same. So, Australia employment change, employment rate, good news. So, up to Thursday, Japan. Rate, uh, <coughs> refinancing rate policy remain the same. Good. Okay, US actually improve a lot. Uh, USD, uh, <coughs> Philadelphia manufacturing index improved by a lot. Uh, unemployment claim also improved. On Friday, UK retail sales drops. Euro. French uh, services PMI drop, manufacturing improve, German manufacturing drop a little, uh, services improve, French manufacturing for the whole Europe improve, and uh, services, French services also improve. Okay, then CAT has a comeback. Okay, retail sales and the sales is actually okay improve. And USD manufacturing PMI improve. Okay, so uh, UK is mixed. Uh, Euro is mixed result. Okay, but generally it's quite good. The result is quite good. And the US also very good result. Okay, so basically US and U uh, Euro is both quite strong. CAT is a mixed result. Okay, cat is not so strong because of the mixed result. And uh, Australia, okay, good result. So basically, Australia will be strong. Okay, let's look at the uh, next week. <coughs> okay, not many events next week. Okay, President Lagarde. ECB President Lagarde speaks. Okay, recently President Lagarde and uh, uh, Janet Yellen, right, they joined together talking about Bitcoin. Okay, so after a few uh, many news about bad news about Bitcoin, right, see Bitcoin drop. Okay, for me, Bitcoin drop is a good opportunity to buy instead of uh, a sell. So I will look for a good other opportunity. Okay, on the cryptocurrency this week, I also post a. Uh, uh, on Monday, tomorrow or Monday, I'll post a video on the Bitcoin, on an update on Bitcoin. 
see whether where is the opportunity to buy. Okay, so this is all. They are the ECB president and uh, Janet Yellen, right? They are just they are talking about uh, this uh, crypto not being a uh, money, and uh, they are also being used for legal events. All, all actually all currency is being used for legal like, events, right? Even the USD, right? So they are. I'm I'm not sure what they're up to, but they do have an impact. Okay. Is actually is welcome, okay. When the this uh crypto actually drop, make it cheaper to buy, so the risk is less, okay. Buying at forty two thousand, you know, the risk is very high. Okay, hopefully it drops some more. Okay. So next week we got a uh, consumer confidence for US. Okay, they expect slight improvement. Uh, Australia the CPI number they expect a drop. Okay, CPI num number. They expect a. Uh, Trim uh, mean CPI, okay, they expect the same. So basically, there's no, they don't expect a uh, improve of the uh, economy, right? Okay, price index, right? They, they don't, uh, they don't expect a uh, big improvement, okay? So uh, USD uh, Wednesday, FOMC speaks, okay, USD, uh, they are red. Okay, the interest rate remain they, they expect to remain uh, at zero point two five. Okay, if there's no changes, should be okay. Okay, so after that there's, there will be a press conference. Okay, so this one is important. So they have a uh, GDP. Okay, so they expect a drop, uh, a GDP drop, okay, the quarter GDP. To drop. Price advance uh, GDP price index also they expect a drop. Unemployment claim, not no expectation. Okay, C B uh, leading index. Expect a drop. I uh, sorry, expect a drop. So this Swiss franc, the barometer, they expect a drop. Canada GDP, no expectation. Okay, China manufacturing, no expectation. Okay, so actually they expect a weaker economy. Okay, weaker economy for US. Next week. And uh, AUD, okay, also they expect a weaker price index. So basically they don't, uh, expectation is not high, okay, for AUD and USD next week. Okay, let's go into the chart. Okay, uh, Euro USD, right? Euro USD, okay, the price actually broke from this downtrend, right? Broke up from, we talked about this this uh, support resistance area, right? 1.28, uh, 2181, okay? So it consolidated here, okay? If we can break down, okay, it will. Reach the, if you very likely you reach S two S two one point two zero six five. Okay, so price actually did reach the, the level here one point two zero six five, and the price actually bounced to here. Okay, so what what is next? Okay, this look like a pin bar, but this pin bar is not a very powerful pin bar. Okay, first it is small. Okay, it's a bounce. It this one actually indicate the price actually bounce. Okay, bounce from the support resistance area. Okay. And this pin bar, okay, is an indication of bounce, uh, rebound from the this area, this support resistance, this resistance area one point two one area. But this candle is not big, okay. If we want to uh, an indication right of a strong bounce, right of a strong bounce, right normally the candle, okay, I would prefer a much larger candle, okay, larger candle, okay, which is similar to all these sides, okay, all these previous sides similar to this side. Means okay, I will most probably okay, possibly will open a short trade okay. But because this is an uptrend, right? This is an uptrend okay. Very unlikely I open a short trade because I don't, I rarely trade against the trend. But if it's a very big signal, right? I might consider okay to sell due to the uh, weakness of the euro okay, weakness of the euro. I might. 
sell. Okay, but so this one, this candle, right, it's not very strong. Okay, if Monday we see a very strong candle going downwards, okay, then probably price will continue to go up, go down. Okay, if the Monday, okay, the price somehow managed to break through S1, okay, 1.2181, then there is a, a big, uh, uh, there's a big likelihood, right, that the price will go up. Okay, so everything depends on what happened here. Okay, what happened at this area. Okay, next week. Okay, uh, pound USD, pound USD actually, okay, printed out a consolidation pattern here. Okay, the price is consolidated over here. Okay, so the price can go both way next week. Okay, if it comes down from here, right, if it breaks out from this pattern, right, most likely the price will come down to test this area. Okay. S1 area at 1.3541. Okay, if the price actually can break out, then high po high possibility the price will continue to go to go up. Okay. So look at the level. Let's see what is the level. Okay, one point three six three two at the bottom. Okay, the price of uh, breaks above one point three seven four nine, so Possibility the price will continue to go up. So look at USD JPY, USD JPY, we talk about this consolidation area. Okay, the price break up, break down, okay. Probability, high probability the price will continue to go down. Okay, but it carve out a, a dodgy candle, right? It means uh, in uh, indecision. Okay, after indecision, the price actually went back. Okay, so I did a video. I said if the price actually went back below this. In this in decision candle, right? Okay, we close the trade first, we wait for the next move. Okay, so now the price is just holding at this uh, support resistant area 1.103.87. Okay, the price actually short uh bounce bounce down, right? After it came out here, it received a short bounce from here. So for next week we want to see what happened, okay, at this area. Either it breaks up or it bounces down, okay. If it got rejected, rebound from here and when okay below 103550, okay, possibility opportunity to short until the S1 area 103.138. Okay, if we can break this area, possibility to go to 102.69. Okay, but if the price actually can break below this candle, right? We are this uh, uh support resistance area. Okay, likely price to come back to retest S2, 104.50 area, okay, so we wait for a, a rebound from here, okay, bounce down from here for opportunity to sell, or if it breaks this area, we look for R3, 105.34 for a bounce, okay, for a rebound, for a sell uh, opportunity, okay. So AUD, USD, AUD, USD, okay, cut out a range, okay, a range, this a range between, okay, you see the price actually is uh, uh, zigzag, okay, inside this range, uh, so this is a range, okay, this is a range, so there is no momentum here, okay, the price just zigzag, 
okay, zigzag in the range. Okay, in order for us to trade this one, we have to wait for the price to close outside the range. Okay, the range, uh, uh, the top of the range is R1 0 0.7813, the bottom of the range is S1 0 0.7648. Okay, so we, nothing we can do, we wait for a breakout. Then New Zealand USD, okay, New Zealand USD also have a consolidation range, okay, similar like a, like a AUD USD, okay, so this one, we talk about this, right, if the price actually, okay, uh, I open a buy trade, right, a buy trade after the price actually went up here, okay, so actually the price really come back here, I put my stock to break even here, okay, break even. Okay, so if the price is it continue to go up next week, I will keep the trade. Okay, if the price actually breaks down from here, you will, you will break my break, you will reach my break even and close the trade. Okay, so this one, if uh, for traders that haven't go in right, okay, this is a consolidation. Okay, we wait for the break for of this consolidation. If the price break down, okay, opportunity to short for aggressive trader. Okay, for conservative trader, we only look for buy. Okay, we look. We only look for buy because this is an uptrend. Okay, for aggressive aggressive trader, maybe you can short up to S2 area 0 0.7027. Okay. So if the price actually continue to go up, okay, if you if you haven't joined, if you haven't uh, joined the trade, open the trade, if the price actually breaks up, okay, if I if I haven't opened the trade, if the price will break up, I possibly I will okay go look for a buy opportunity. Okay. Towards the R1 0 0.7319. The area is 0 0.7224. Okay, a breakout of 7 point zero two two four two 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 or oh, sorry two 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 three. Okay, a break of the top of this consolidation, possibly opportunity to buy, okay, towards the this area. Okay, a break, a break of this pattern, this consolidation, okay, opportunity for shock to this area. Okay, USD cap, okay, USD cap cash have been a uh, a weaken right for the for the, this week a uh, news. Okay. So, and also cut a pin bar here, a rejection of the price to go lower, right? So now price is coming down, okay? Coming down. This pattern, right, is a rejection pattern, right? It's a rejection, rejection pattern. It's a bullish pattern, okay? So very likely the price will continue to go up for next week. Okay, after this pattern, price likely will come to this area, R1, 1.2801. Okay, we want to see what happened, okay, in this area. Okay, if the price actually bounce from this area, okay, there's possible a possibility to shock. Okay, if it breaks this area, come to R2, possibly to shock. If it breaks R2, 1.2933, then possible R3 at 1.3030. Okay. Or if the price actually breaks, okay, from here, right? The price come back and break above, okay, S1, 1.2685, then possible, okay, there's a possibility to short. Okay, look at go. Okay, now go is at resistance, uh. this is the resistance line and two resistance lines, okay, so this is very strong resistance. Okay, there's two resistance line, horizontal resistance. Okay, and downtrend resistant trend line. Okay, so this is too resistant, uh, rejecting the price from uh, uh, breaking up. Okay, so this is similar to just now the uh, USD cap pattern. Okay, a hanging man, the price go up, rejection, a hanging man pattern, and the price come down, but there's still a lot of buyers, bullish buyers here. Okay, so this one.
Okay, we have to see price what happened. Okay, what happened here next week? Okay, see the price whether next week whether it can break here. It can break the R one one eight seven eight uh resistance line. If it can break this resistance line, move slightly. Okay, it will continue to go up to R two one nine zero nine or one nine five two. Okay, these two areas it will continue to go up. Okay, if the price unable to break, comes down. Okay, break below this area, S1 1850. Okay, if it breaks below 1850 area, most likely it will come and test S2 1765 and 17. Sorry, this is Slightly, it will come and test 1815 and 1765 area. Okay, a breakdown from here, likely will come and test here and here. Okay, because of a strong rejection, okay, from this two trend line. Okay, so this is my uh, forecast for next week. Okay, remember to hit the, the hit the like button. Okay, smash the like button. Remember to subscribe. Okay, to this channel. Yay! <laughs> help, yes, you win. Help your uh help me to share it to your friend and also hit the bell. Uh, remember hit the bell so all my ad hoc video, right? You can get my ad hoc video uh notification from your YouTube app. Okay? And uh stay safe from Kowei. Bye bye.